Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I will help you guys to reduce lag on game loop. Let's get into the video. Tip number 1, use Chinese version of game loop instead of the global version. Chinese version of game loop uses very less amount of CPU usage and RAM usage when compared with global version. You guys can download Chinese version of game loop on gameloop.mobi. If you guys want to know how to download PUBG Mobile on Chinese game loop, please let me know in the comments, I'll make a separate video for it. Tip number 2, use non-HD resource pack instead of the HD version. I have played using both the resources and I can play lag free on non-HD version. Don't download all the maps and resource pack, just download the maps which you play more often. Tip number 3, changing the game controls as per your system specifications. On Chinese version, we have only two rendering options, OpenGL and DirectX. You can select OpenGL when you have a very good graphics card which uses much of graphics resources, or you can use DirectX which primarily uses CPU performance, choose it as per your system specification. I am using DirectX since I don't have a very good graphics card. Please keep anti-aliasing off which is totally useless. Select the memory as per the RAM available on your PC. Likewise select the number of cores present on your CPU. In engine settings select the resolution as 720p for non-graphics card users and select 1080p resolution for graphics card users. Select the graphics setting as smooth and FPS to 60. Tip number 4, removing unwanted application and freeing up space on your PC. First uninstall the applications which you don't use. Go to control panel and uninstall the unwanted applications. Then click on this PC, right click on your drive where Windows is installed, click on properties and select disk cleanup, and then select all the files that you want to be removed, which includes Windows old update files and some temporary files and files on your recycle bin, click on OK to remove those files. Now we are using run command to remove some temporary files, click on Windows plus R key, and enter temp and select all the files in that folder, and click on shift plus delete to permanently delete all the files in the folder, and do the same for the files in the folder in prefetch and percentage temp percentage. You don't have to do this frequently. You can do it once in a month. Tip number 5, changing the system to performance mode. Go to control panel click on category and click on power options and select high performance mode. Note that it will use excessive amount of power which also increases the temperature of the CPU. The optimal temperature of the CPU is 40 degrees Celsius to 75 degrees Celsius. Please monitor the CPU temperature while playing the game. It should not go beyond 80 degree. To monitor the temperature you can use MSI Afterburner software, which is mostly used for benchmark tests. You can download it from Google, and it is a free-to-use software, if the temperature goes above 75 or 80 degree change the power plan to balanced, I use balanced because my CPU temperature goes above 80 degree when using high performance mode. Tip number 6, changing the graphics settings for Windows. Click on this PC, click on properties. Then select advanced system settings. Select the settings under performance tab. Then select adjust for best performance and click on apply and OK. Now select the advanced tab and click on the change button in the virtual memory. Select custom paging size and enter double the amount of your RAM and initial size tab and enter 2.5x amount of RAM and maximum size tab. And then click on set and apply. Tip number 7, increasing the response time, download and install timer resolution. Open the application and select the resolution to maximum and minimize it while playing. Always use the timer resolution while playing the game. Bonus tip for desktop users, due to summer the temperature of the atmosphere will be high, which will also drastically increases the temperature of CPU. Playing the game in high temperature will lead to CPU throttling, which in turn reduces the clock speed of CPU, which leads to unwanted lag in the game. To avoid this try to keep your room temperature as low as possible, I recommend removing the side panel of your CPU case, if possible keep a table fan near it. It will increase the airflow inside the casing which dissipates the heat inside and does reduces CPU throttling. This method is for people who don't have an aftermarket cooler or a liquid cooler. That's all for the video. I hope these tips helps you in reducing the lag. If it does helps please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends. If you have any questions please let me know in the comments. I will try to answer it as early as possible. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and healthy.